All right, got a quick intro for you today because I just got back in town. Plus, I've got about three or four minutes of fishing footage I want to put on the video after the tie. Now, the pattern is a pretty generic foam hopper. I came up with it last fall when I was up on Penn's Creek. It did pretty well for me up there. Later that fall, it worked on the Savage River. And then this past week, I tried it out in Town Creek, another trout stream in Western Maryland. Now, the only thing different with this one from most of the foam hoppers I tie is I put a little bit of crystal flash over the deer hair wing. And in this case, I'm using a copper colored one. I don't know if the color makes any difference at all, but either way, it's a pretty fun tie. So there it is in the vise, my little copper hopper, kind of a silly little pattern. And, you know, secret here, sometimes I skip the front legs on my hoppers. And this hook is a size eight. It's a three X long generic curve shank hook. It's actually the J Stockard model 430. Kind of my go-to hook for hoppers and a lot of other things as well. And I'm gonna use some olive thread because I'm doing an olive body. This is a 140 denier. I will often step up my thread when I'm doing foam bodies. Just the thicker thread is less likely to cut into the foam. But first thing we're gonna catch in, just some flutter legs. These happen to be grizzly and olive. I think any color is probably gonna work. I'll take two of them, tie them in a little knot, and then catch them in. Don't worry about how long it is, past that knot, we'll trim that later. But you want them kind of significant, not you know terribly short. And I wouldn't worry too much how they're oriented. They're gonna get all messed up probably before we're done anyway. So we got one on each side. Let's do another one right here. I don't wanna spin around that much. Be a little bit more careful there. Okay, that's gonna be fine. We will need to trim all this up front, so let's go ahead and do that. A couple extra wraps, and then just snip the front, kind of short right there. Okay, and now I have been putting a yellow underbody on this little one. The one you saw on the vise at the beginning was a foam. It was a two millimeter yellow foam, but again, this is kind of experimental. So I'm gonna try this one with a yellow yarn. I do like the yellow body. A lot of hoppers around here in Maryland do have a little bit of a yellow belly. So I'm gonna catch that in, leave it kinda of to the side, and now take your main body material. I'm doing an olive, but yeah, do any color you want. This is a three millimeter. I've cut it a little bit wider than a hook gap and kind of put some slants on it just so the the butt of this hopper is not going to be totally square. So I'm gonna kind of pinch this around the hook here and a few wraps, not real tight at first. Again, you don't wanna cut this foam, but several wraps. I will put some under and over and under and over, just trying to keep it from spinning around. It might end up spinning around a little bit on you anyway, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now we can take our thread up here to where the front of this belly is going to be and then just wrap this yellow up. We'll see how this yarn looks after we're done. Okay, I think this is going to look fine. Using the yellow foam for the belly would certainly make it a little bit more buoyant, but you know, I'm not sure. I think this thing is going to float pretty well, no matter how you tie the belly. It certainly did for me this past weekend. So several wraps to right up here. And let's do the same thing again. Put a couple under and over. And we're a little bit back behind the eye because we're gonna fold it over and give it a head here in just a second. But before we do that, we need to take some deer hair or elk hair or something, you know, kind of long and natural. And put it in your stacker if you want. Okay, I think that's fine. And we want this pretty long. Let's go, maybe not quite the, the length of the body, but almost. So let's do a loose wrap right here. And then the second and third wraps, we can get a little bit tighter. 
And don't worry if it flares up front, it's probably going to. And if it flares a little on the back, when we fold that head over, it'll help lay it down. So several wraps here if you need. And then you can just put a few wraps up through the middle if you want. It will probably make it a little bit more secure of a fly, but you just have to be careful now because we wanna snip all this excess up front and not snip any of the wing going back. So just kind of do that right there and then reach in here. It might take you a few snips. Okay, there's our wing. And what I like about this guy is this copper crystal flash in here. And this is four strands. I'm gonna fold it over so I end up with eight and just lay it right above that deer hair. A couple of loose wraps, make sure you keep it on top. Probably not a big deal if you don't. But I think that's gonna be fine right there. Snip off the excess up front. And then just trim these about the length of the, the wing there. Now if you look at it, those are sticking up a little bit more than we probably want. But here's how we take care of that. You just fold this head over right here and give it a little pinch. And now some wraps, again, medium to medium tight. And you can get a little bit tighter as you go. And we're gonna whip finish it right there where this, where our thread wraps already are. So there we go. Let's put a little whip finish on it. And we've got some trim and a little bit of cleanup to do on this guy. Okay, first thing you might wanna do is just, if that piece folding over the back is a little bit long, you can just reach in here and, and trim it a little bit. This is kinda what I did on those I'd been using, make it a little bit shorter. And then take a look at those legs. These legs, looks kinda like a frog hopper. Cut them off a little bit below the knot. You don't want real long back here. And then if you got any stray of this deer hair going all over the place, which I do a little bit, but I'm not really gonna worry about it. If you wanted to put a drop of head cement, just put it on the underside right there where those thread wraps are and let it wick down inside them. So there you go. Pretty simple little generic foam hopper that I've had a little bit of luck with this past year. So I appreciate you watching. Stick around a couple minutes if you want to see me fishing this thing out in Western Maryland this past weekend. All right, good evening from Town Creek in Old Town, Maryland. This is a delayed harvest catch and release stream, meaning anything you catch or any trout you catch, you gotta release up until June 1st. After that, you can start harvesting five a day. But it's an interesting water because it, it does get pretty warm in the summertime. There's, you know, some trout, you can catch some brown and rainbow that they stock in here in the fall and the spring, but it's a decent fishery for smallmouth and regular panfish. You can see it up there. It's kind of warm today, so you know there's a chance that I get some trout, but just as likely that I get some little sunfish or smallmouth bass. I'm going with an experimental hopper. It's not, we're not in the middle of hopper season yet, but it's getting close. This one, it's an olive foam body that I tied up on Penn's Creek last year. It's got a little bit of copper flash in the wing. I think that was what I was trying to match up there, but it's a generic hopper pattern. So maybe it'll have some luck here. I have seen some grasshoppers out. Haven't seen any fish rising, but you know, like always, I'm, I'm just mostly out here prospecting. But it should be a fun evening. I got about an hour out here. Let's give it a shot. So I'm just throwing it out there in that slack water. There's a little bit of structure out there, but I'm really just trying to put it out there and then maybe give it a twitch or two. That seam right there with all those bubbles coming down, that looks promising too. I'll get up there in just a second. Oh, 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 
there's one, there's one. Oh, he, he hit it on the... But after twitching it, and I almost fell in. Decent fish. Let's see what he is. Hasn't come up yet. Come on, everybody. He's wanting to run on me. Give him a little bit of play. So I can get him upstream of me. Looks like a small mouth. That's what I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah. He is, he's a chunky little slab. And now I drop my net. Oh, oh, don't go down there, buddy. Whoa, 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 he's running. These guys can fight. And I uh, did not get him in that, that pass. There we go. All right. Let's get this hook out of this guy. All right, so this guy is, he's about, 14 inches. Can you see that right there? He's a decent little fish. 